All right, what's going on, everybody? So I just got to the gym. It's currently 5 o'clock p.m., so it is a little bit late. It's Friday, so I'm going to be doing some chest and triceps for y'all. And the first clip wasn't me in the car, but after the lift, I'm going to go in the car and talk about some things. So I'll see y'all then. Let's go hit the lift, chest and triceps. I'm doing incline dumbbells to start. I'm going to warm up before, incline dumbbells, and then whatever happens, happens. Let's go. All right. So first exercise, gym is pretty empty today. It's Friday, 5 p.m. Makes sense. Makes sense. But so we're going to hit warm up set on the incline dumbbells. 60 pounds warm up. Just quick reps, six to eight reps. Two warm up sets, two working sets. So today we're gonna work up to the 80s right after this and then after the 80s we'll try the 90s let's just go to failure on the 90s and we'll move on just keep it simple quick effective high intensity Heavy weight to failure, high intensity, quick workouts. That's how you're going to get the most effective workouts is just high intensity, quick hour, 15 minute workout with high intensity the entire time. That's how you're going to get the best results. High intensity, high intensity. Okay, so next... We're just going to go over to the 80s after the first warm-up set. The 80s is my second warm-up set, pretty much. And I'll try and do two sets at 90. So 80s, I'm shooting for just like six reps. Still the warm-up. Shooting for six reps. That was easy enough. So then I'm just going to do two sets at 90 for shooting for six reps there. So my shoulder does feel a little off, I would say. So to warm that up right before my real working sets is I'm just going to do some of these. Some just basic. If you have any shoulder issues, just try out this exercise as a warm up and it'll really warm up your shoulders a ton. Get a lot of blood flow in the rotator cuffs and everywhere you need it. Really explode out of the bottom with your shoulder, just the rotate just the rotator cuffs and nothing else. Just isolate the rotator cuff. This is like the best shoulder warm-up exercise ever. If you have like bad shoulders, do some of these. It'll fix it right up. All right, so now we're gonna get right into the working set. But I have to pick an aux first. Listen to this. Full volume. Just hitting these 90s first. Pretty much still failure, but shoot for six. Thank you. 
five reps which is pretty annoying but I'm gonna do one more set I'm gonna try and get six on the last set so maybe if I recover enough in these like next two minutes maybe I'll get six but who knows Just gotta lock in my form more ah. let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go Okay, so I have completed incline dumbbells. Now I'm moving on to plate loaded chest press. I'm just do three sets at the same weight because I'm already warmed up. So this is like three by failure, pretty much. Three by failure. Two more sets by failure, same weight. Really focusing on the eccentric coming down, making sure I'm going slow on the way down. Big stretch at the bottom. So last set, I'm gonna do a drop set. So I'll go to failure on this, take a plate off, go to failure. Get a crazy pump.
those drop sets go hard. Dead ass. Fuck that. <sighs> All right. So, last chest exercise. Some chest flies. I'm doing three by failure. Three to four by failure. Depending on how I feel. Just right in front. I'll probably get like six. Probably get like six on my own, and then after that, like, just help me, like, complete it up here. Hold on, let me. Uh, yeah, you can stand like right there. Yeah, I got you. I don't want to stand in front of you while you do it. No, nah, it's, it's not blocking. It. I okay. put it right on. Look at that. Shit, boy. Come on, come on. Come on. Give me come three. On. Got you, boy. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. Help me out here. Got you. Go. Come one on. More. Good shit, good shit. Let's go. One more, one more. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's good. All right, last set. It's a failure. Oh boy, let's go, let's go. Yep. I'm here, I'm here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hold that shit. Good shit, boy. Shit. Yeah. Fuck, bro. Yeah. It's like my rotator cuff. Can't handle that. I see you should be doing this shit too, just warming it up. Yeah. Okay. Last. The first tricep exercise. Tricep push downs. Simple, basic, and effective. So I finished the chest exercises. Now it's triceps. So four by failure. So it's pretty light, so I'll do a 140. Just 
So three more by failure. So with tricep pushdowns, I'm just really focusing on the stretch, holding it up here and stretching. Then quick contraction, I'm not really holding it at the contraction, but just a quick contraction, slow up here, stretch, quick contraction, like you'll see in this set. So bring it up, stretch up here, quick contraction, stretch, contract, stretch, slow on the way up. Two more sets, two more sets to failure. drop set because I need more reps out of that. Oh. Oh, fuck. You know, let's do 130 for the last set. I'll probably do a drop set. So I need that Hide the high reps. All right. Last set. Probably do a drop set. This is crazy. All right. So last tricep exercise. So I'm just doing two tricep exercises. Um, the push downs really focused on like the entirety of the tricep, and then this is gonna focus on like behind the neck. So just the bulk, the long head and stuff. This is for my failure. It's just so hard, but this is a great exercise. Just single arm going to failure. You'll get a crazy pump and contraction on this. If you keep your elbow in nice and tight and just stretch at the bottom, contract at the top. 
It's like a great exercise. With so with this, I'm not really resting a lot. Just quick sets, starting with my weak arm. Always doing weak arm on ISO movements. Crazy pumps, salt and honey, crazy pumps, bro, crazy fucking pumps. Okay, last set, gotta make a count, big set here, and then we'll do some posing and some push-ups. That was the end of the set. So now we're gonna do push-ups and posing. The best way to get a punch for posing is just to do failure push-ups, in my opinion. Just do failure push-ups if you have failure push-ups. I sure got the mic on the chain. So I like to do incline push-ups because it gets the upper chest busting. Just like this. Feet on the bench and then just push. So, do one more set of failure push ups and then I'll like hit some serious posing.
Posing. So I've been really trying to bring that weight down. It's just like makes your physique look so much better when you have a small waist, big shoulders. Walking my chest, in my. I'm fairly shredded right now. I haven't been eating a lot of carbs, so I've just been burning fat like crazy. I also gotta hit side delts, now that I remember. But all right, let's see the pump we've come up with. I mean, the mic's blocking. So just ignore everything that isn't red meat. So we got some steak ribeyes, we got New York strips, and then we got a whole bunch of grass-fed ground beef. This is all grass-fed for all of these. And then up here, just ignore everything that isn't carnivore. So we got pasture-raised eggs, always pasture-raised. These are from Trader Joe's. We got six cartons that I got today. And these are two from last week. And then some more grass-fed ground beef. And we got grass-fed pure Irish butter. I am Irish, so I'm allowed to eat this. And then we got some Lustenburger raw dairy cheese. We got three of those. So that's what I'm going to be having on this carnivore diet that I'm doing for a week. I also am going to be incorporating raw honey, which I do have up here. Right up here, raw honey. But I'm only going to be eating that before my workouts so I can have a carb source. And last thing that I'm going to be eating, well, taking is just pink salt. I have also been taking turmeric like on my animal-based diet, but I am going to be cutting that out and just seeing how I feel with the carnivore diet. So 
Let's get it.